Okay, Vietnam is currently experiencing a rapid development in financial services. As a trend for digital banking and growth, fintechs gather pace in many areas. Alongside this development is a demand for technology, innovation and the strengthening of the country's payment infrastructure as a backbone facilitating engagement in the entire payment ecosystem. Well, the National Payment Corporation of Vietnam, otherwise known as NAPAS, is the switching facility in Vietnam that handles both card and account payment rails. NAPAS has been at the centre of a series of key infrastructure upgrades that not only help accelerate digital payments in the country, but also act as a solid base for Vietnam to facilitate cross-border payments across the region and indeed into other markets. And we're joined now by Nhung Dang Hung, Deputy CEO of the National Payment Corporation of Vietnam. Welcome, Mr. Dang Hung, to Cybos TV. Thanks for making some time for us. Uh, we hope you're enjoying Cybos 2021 as much as we are. Uh, if I can start by asking you uh, to tell us a little bit about the role of NAPAS in Vietnam. Uh, yes, NAPAS is the only switching facility in Vietnam which handles both car and car payment. We are uh, the domestic card scheme and provide our own proprietary chip standard based on the EMB code for all the domestic banks. So far, we got the 25 million chip card that uh, have been migrated successfully. We also run the interbank fund transfer 24 7, which interconnect all the banks and wallets in Vietnam. With these two payment systems, NAPAS is currently operating the largest low value payment system in the country processing billions of transactions everywhere. So uh, despite the COVID pandemic, we expect the growth rates uh, this year of more than 100% in 2021. And can you tell us about the new real-time payment systems which was launched last year? We, it, well, it's known as ACH. So what is it exactly that has been newly introduced? Um, the new ACH system is based on ISO 222 standards include in the real-time and batch payment service, uh, which is uh, direct credit, direct debit instrument, and some additional modules, such as the uh, mandate management central addressing scheme, request to pay, uh, electronic being presentment module. The ICS system is uh, seamlessly integrated with internal NAPAS existing payment service, uh, such as a car to a car, car to a car, a car to car, and other uh, being payment service. The integration platform also uh, allows the uh, ICA participant to use ISO 8583 uh, message to communicate with our new ICAs and introduce the new service to our client uh, without um, significant effort in customization of the existing systems. How about the private sector uh, then, uh, Mr. Dang Hung? Uh, how does the private sector benefit like fintechs, uh, banks and such from, from ACH? In Vietnam, NAPAS has multiple payment licenses granted by State Bank of Vietnam Central Bank. So the ACS has the capability to connect the biller, the billing aggregator, and other payment service providers like FinTech and banks, and in order to process a payment in, uh, initiation from these entities. This opens the capability to offer the multiple payment and bill collection services by different stakeholders in the market. The fund is a sector in real time, which creates more efficient fund flow and reduce the cost of payment, considering with the other payment options. The ICS system uses ISO 222 in its core payments, so it can be interoperate uh, to, uh, with the other payment system of the other country to support the cross-border payment, bring more I think, revenue stream to the industry player. And do you see instant payments either substituting or perhaps complementing other payment instruments? Um, in Vietnam, we have the uh, RTGS, which is the real-time growth settlements, which is run by State Bank of Vietnam and other low-value system, which is also operated by State Bank of Vietnam in the past. And the RTGS system can provide the rapid settlement of the payment between the final institution payment service provider that participate in those systems. However, the RTGS systems uh, typically have the limited hours of operation and uh, the rapid availability of the fund for end user may depend on other system, other banks, uh, rules, and also the local regulation. As for the card payment, the system can enable the initiation 
uh, of the face-to-face and uh, remote transaction anytime, as well as a rapid exchange of the payment information between PSP. However, cards do not generally provide the rapid availability of the final fund to the payee and usually have the restriction on the time the end user who can accept the card payment. For the end user of the same PSP at the same bank, uh, the fast payment it may be the possible possible to the credit card and uh, debit on that uh, payment service provider's books, but uh, this fast payment functionality does not extend to the counterparty with the accounts at the other PSP. So real-time payment is uh, complementing other in instruments by addressing the certain payment use case that, uh, that require rapid payment, especially um, in the mobile evolution. The technological innovation that uh, have uh, transformed the end user experience associated with mining activity and may have the uh, change the expectation of the end user with the respect to the speed and convenience of the payment, uh, thereby increasing the demand for the fast payment. Well, it's been wonderful to speak to you here on Cybos TV in Cybos 2021. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Nyung Dang Hung, Deputy CEO of the National Payment Corporation of Vietnam. Thank you for your time.